All right, so I've been a YouTuber now for a good while. I just want to say that I'm not going to be naming absolutely anyone of the most insane fan interactions I've ever had, uh, obviously, out of the kindness of my heart, I guess you can say. <laughs> but no, also just to make sure that, they're, like, you know, obviously this can be a bit embarrassing for them if they are watching. I'm not going to be naming anyone or anything like that. That's not going to be happening. It is what it is, you know. At the end of the day, we have some dumb interactions here and there. And, you know, it will happen. It will happen. It most definitely will. No matter how, what type of size you are or whatever, like, you will have some interesting interactions with people. So, like, anyway, I'm just rambling right now. I'm going to start with the first one that I can remember. I mean, I've had a lot of weird ones. Most of them, thankfully, has just been over text. But I think one of them have been in VC. I don't know. I'm not sure if I quite remember that one. But this first one was he, this fan. I don't even like calling you lot fans. I just mostly prefer to call you lot viewers because you, you lot are not like fucking obsessed with me or anything. So I just like to call you lot uh, viewers. This viewer, what I can only assume, probably is quite young. Um, maybe at the age of 13, 14 or something. I'm, I'm not too sure. Basically, this viewer, he hit, hits me up, right? We have a normal conversation and whatnot, right? He just said, hey, like your videos, shit like that, right? I think that's okay, cool. You know, he's complimenting me, complimenting my videos, says he watches them and all that shit. And then he asks like what he asks, like maybe once or twice. Yo, can we like go in a VC or something like that? And then I say I, I'm a bit on the fence on this guy because like I barely even know him. So like, I don't really want to get like, in, a, a, in a voice call with him with people I don't really know. So I, 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 I I don't think I respond to him after that. That's not because like, oh, I have a huge fucking ego or anything like that. Just because like, I, I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling the vibe with uh, chatting to this guy. I just, I just rather just like move on with my day and whatnot. But then out of the blue, he messages me that it's his birthday. And remember that, remember that. I then wished him just like any, any other person would do. Just wish them a happy birthday, right? He was turning, I don't know how, he didn't say how much, how old he was turning, but he was turning an age. Like he was growing up. Okay. And then he asked like for a favor because he he had his birthday. Yo, like, give him a duel on Miming Club and whatnot, right? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like, it's his birthday. I thought, like, that was, that's the least I can do. I do. I do get in VC with you guys sometimes, only when I'm really, like, feeling it. So it's kind of like RNG if I actually end up in a voice call with you lot. Like, if I'm actually in the mood to do it or not. It's very RNG. I can't really, like, predict my mood or anything, you know? Like, I'm just a fucking human, all right? I, I like my alone time. As sad as that sounds, you know? I, I like being alone. I like my alone time. So I'm not gonna, like, sit here and pretend I'm fucking perfect or anything. And then, um, a few months later he hits me up again and he says it's his birthday again only a few months later i was very very confused right now i was, I was like wait what wasn't it his birthday like a few months ago in this meantime he had been messaging me previously and i probably didn't really respond that much i probably just said like um hey or yo whatever like when he asked me like how i'm doing and shit like that to be honest when when people message me that like pretending like they, they are my friend i don't know i it makes me kind of uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie but it is what it is right he he sends me a bunch of messages saying like how are you doing and shit like that right it doesn't really bother me too much but then he says it's his birthday again and he comes up with this weird ass excuse or whatever saying that oh in my country we celebrate birthdays two times a year or something like that he said it was like he doesn't celebrate his actual birthday or whatnot until that one or so. it was so stupid like it was honestly the most dumb excuse i've ever heard i really didn't know what to say and i just called him out it's like yo don't you think that's a bit weird like what why would you like lie about that and then he had the <laughs> and then this guy actually went on and said full-heartedly oh no i just said it was my birthday because i I knew you would respond because then it would be something important. Th that's the, that, that was his excuse for like saying it was his birthday. That was so extremely weird. At the end of that, I just, I just blocked him. Like I didn't, I didn't want anything to do with that. It was, it just made me feel really uncomfortable and honestly just kind of used in a way. It was just not like a person I want to like associate myself with. I don't know. I really was not comfortable with uh, talking to that guy after that. And I confronted him about it. So it, I don't know. It was it was really weird. But yeah, the next insane fan interaction I can think of as of right now. Basically, I dueled this guy on a random server. And I didn't really want to go on because it was like uh, it was like a cracked server, and I don't really trust those servers. I'm gonna be honest. We dueled there. I didn't really think much of it or anything. But no, no, no. We, I dueled, and then I think I won a few times, and he won a few times, and whatnot. Right? Didn't really matter that much. But this guy made excuses upon excuses every single time he died. Right? Every single time this guy lost, he made. So so many excuses. And then when I said, when I told him like, okay, all right, I'm bored. I don't want to do this anymore, right? I'm just, I don't want to fight you anymore. Like, I just want to like move on with my day, right? And I thought that was like reasonable, right? Because at this point we had been doing quite a few duels and I was just getting kind of bored. And then he kept on like making the same excuse. Like, oh no, my mouse wasn't plugged in or, or and he was getting like really angry with the fact that I was about to leave. So like he, 
<laughs> he started like being very, very aggressive and very toxic towards me and shit. The only reason I could think about why he, he would act this way, it was purely because he was like, what, maybe I don't know his age or anything. I didn't, I didn't really want to like ask him or anything. I, I, the only thing I could assume his age was, was around 13, 14 or something like that. He, he must, he can't have been older than that. So he got extremely toxic when I said that I just wanted to leave because I didn't want to fight him anymore on this fucking cracked server or anything. It was, it was really, it was strange. I just didn't feel comfortable like being around that guy. Here's the thing with me, okay? Like if you're gonna like message me, okay? If I don't respond, like don't be a bitch about it, bro. Like honestly, like don't be a, don't be weird about me not responding. It's not me having a fucking huge ass ego. Either I'm just not in the mood to respond. And I think that's perfectly reasonable for any person to just not be in the mood to respond to someone. No matter who it is. Like sometimes I'm not in the mood and in, in responding to my friends either. So if I don't respond or anything like that or something, I, I don't know. Don't like, don't fucking say like, oh, why are you not responding? Are you too famous? or something like that like that makes me just not want to respond to you after that because then then i just then i will just assume that oh okay so no matter what i say now he's, he's you're just gonna have pre-thought like bias towards me that like i only respond when it's like when it's someone famous like it just makes me uncomfortable really so like just don't do that like it's just basic human fucking human interaction at that point just don't be a weirdo give me space bro like give me space to respond do it at my own time like the same t the same comfortability that you had to respond to uh to message me it's like a team effort okay like just just don't be a dick about it like it's it's really really not that hard oh yeah and also like this this one as well that i it's kind of like a lesson that i want to teach you like if you're gonna like hit up content craze and whatnot right this one is actually like from a kid that i knew whose his age was like a around 13 or 14 or something. I, I know, like, my age demographic is pretty, pretty low. I know that my audience is not that, yet, uh, that like, that old. So, like, I'm perfectly aware that these people are kids, right? This guy, he, um, I, I think I duel them or something. Like, it usually starts off with me dueling them and whatnot, like, giving them a screenie or whatever. Just, like, chatting with them a little bit, like, saying how their day is going. Uh, but this guy, I didn't have him added on Discord, right? He messaged me, like, yo, I'm gonna duel you, blah, 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 and we did that. And after the duels, uh, he, he wanted me to add him on discord now i told him like straight away that like i only really add like close friends or people i talk to on the daily and not just like random people that i that i don't really talk to i don't want to add them just because just because of it you know what i mean i still said to him like you can still dm me i still have my dms open so like it doesn't really matter anyway if you have me added or not i saw that as a win-win in a way like me just saying like yo i don't really want to add you just because like i don't know you like that or anything like that it, it, perfectly reasonable i thought right he started saying like oh no come on man like please add me after i said no then he said something a completely red flag to me straight away i only want to add you so i can flex to flex it to my friends let me tell you that's not how you get people to add you youtuber or not bro like just don't say that it's so weird i confronted him about it i said oh so what am i just a fucking trophy to you like you're just gonna use me to show me off like what the fuck that's i, I feel a bit violated but I, I didn't say anything i didn't say anything like roasting him or anything i just said like what am i just a trophy to you like it's kind of insensitive bro like i don't know like i knew he was a kid he didn't really understand what I was talking about. I just wanted, wanted to teach him a little lesson saying like, no, I'm not a trophy. I just show off to people. Don't do that, guys. Just don't. Don't do that to anyone, like specifically content creators or anyone who's like a public figure and whatnot, right? Just just don't do that. It's so weird. It makes me so uncomfortable when people do that. The people that messaged me, they thought like they, they acted like my friend when we had just met. This one guy kept getting really angry at me because I wasn't treating him as a friend when I didn't, like when I literally had no idea who this guy was. Not like in a mean way obviously but like i i'm saying that because he was being really pushy i kept telling him like i, d I don't know you like that and he kept like insulting me after for that for the very last fan interaction that i want to mention i'm obviously not going to mention their names or anything i'm probably going to talk about two more it is one guy uh, that i have recently talked to oh and he, why did he just this guy and it was quite insane because i learned about his friendship to other people it was a guy that donated a lot to me because he thought that's how you got friends and how content creators to like make videos with you and shit. This already made me really uncomfortable because at this point I was feeling a sense of guilt because like I didn't feel like I deserved his money and it also just made me not feel like a human, you know? Like it didn't it didn't make me feel real. I, I, I don't know how to say it, but yeah. This guy, I just kind of like taught, taught him a little lesson. I don't want your money like that. It's uh, And thankfully, as of right now, as I've heard from him at least, he, he's gone better and everything and he's not, he's not like letting his friends use him purely for monetary gain, which is insane. And I I tried to like teach him a lesson like, like a little bit like you don't want to be friends with those type of people that's not a healthy friendship I, f I felt really bad for him just by giving me money is not gonna make me be his friend you know like if anything it's just gonna make me more uncomfortable being around him it didn't really matter 
to me the the money he gave and he gave like nearly two hundred dollars which was just nuts just because he found my videos entertaining which is you know obviously when people like give me donations and everything on stream i'm obviously super grateful for that but just you watching is enough for me like you really <laughs> you really don't or just buy my lunar clock do that instead now buy the lunar clock instead all right so this last guy i'm going to mention i haven't like talked to in like a long ass time and it is clearly because this guy is he's young obviously but this, this last guy he was extremely weird around just content creators in general not like uh predatory or some shit like that just just overall like really weird around people he would like constantly flex that he would have someone famous or some shit like like he he's he one time sent me a picture of him dming a youtuber i'm not gonna mention who it was because like i feel like that would give it away or some shit he messaged me saying that he oh look at this i i messaged this this uh youtuber but most of the time this guy was just really annoying and weird he constantly felt like i owed him shit because i he was talking to me or something like that the best way i can describe him is just corny you know you, you know when someone is really, really corny and they make you really uncomfortable? That was this guy. Made weird ass jokes that just made people uncomfortable. And me and some other guy, I'm not going to mention it because that would also give it away, but <laughs> we were like kind of laughing at the fact of how uncomfortable and awkward this was because it was just so bad. One, one thing as well, I don't know if this is going to give it away, but he would also lie about so much shit. He would lie that he was like the top player in his country and whatnot. And he would lie, <laughs> he would lie that he was like top 10 on Hypixel, like, I don't know if, I, I, maybe it was Sumo, I think he was flexing or some shit, when he clearly wasn't. And he was also really toxic in game as well, I'm not gonna lie. He would lie about the weirdest shit ever. I don't know, he was just overall a weird person, and he just didn't understand, I think he was very oblivious to it, and he didn't understand the hints when people gave him that they just didn't want to talk to him. But yeah, that was my most insane fan interactions, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, subscribe, like,